Hello everyone, I am Ma'am Alin, your English teacher, and welcome to this bus MNHS English TV. Earthquake. So there is a thing that you need to remember during 
after or before an earthquake. Knowing what to do long before the emergency happens can be a great help. Since fires and earthquakes are possible occurrences, it is good for you to join fire drills and earthquake drills. In this case, you will also know the appropriate instructions that will help your family in times of emergencies. This time, let us have some activities for you to have a clear grasp of our lesson. Again, this is not part of your output to be submitted. Just relax and enjoy while learning. Learning task 1. For your first task, familiarize yourself with emergency terminologies. Identify what is being described in each definition. Write the letter response to your answer in your paper. So we have here the choices. A. Safety B. Disaster C. Buffer shocks D. Go bad E. First aid kit F. Earthquake deals G. Evacuation H. Earthquake and I. Preparedness Let's start! Number 1. A necessity that contains important items needed by the family survive is what do you think is the answer? This is the necessity contains important items. The answer is very good. Letter B. Go back. Huh? Number two, a collection of supplies and equipment that is used to give medical treatment. What do you think is that? Very good. That is letter E. First aid kit. Number three, a sudden calamitous event that seriously disrupts and functioning of a community and causes human, property, and economic or environmental losses. The answer is, very good, letter B, disaster. Number four, the conditions of being protected from possible harm. And that is, Safety letter A. Good job. Number 5. Training or practice exercise for if an earthquake occurs. It is. Very good. Letter F. It is. How you call as earthquake reels. Number 6. This happens when people are separated from or leave a dangerous location or place. Very good. Evacuation. Letter G. Number 7. The weight to violent shaking of the ground produced by sudden movement of rock materials below the Earth's surface is... Good job. Letter H. Earthquake. Number 8. Smaller earthquake following the main shock of a major earthquake is... Letter C. Good job. After shocks. This time, I am confident that you are now ready to do exercises by your own. But remember, make sure that your intermediate paper is presentable with complete details to avoid this app. You're now going to prepare your intermediate paper. Don't forget to write your surname, given name, or and middle initial. Of course, quarter 3, week 3. And your grade level as well as your session and English subject. For day 2, you are going to do learning task 2. Day 3, we have learning task 3. For day 4, we have the assessment. Day 2, learning task 2. Using the infographic of earthquake presented in the introduction, copy and complete the table below by giving the appropriate instructions before during and after an emergency. The first one is done for you as your guide. So here it is, earthquake. So what are you going to do before? So here is an example. Know the hazard in your area. And during, stay calm and do the cover and hold when inside the building. And after is, you need to stay alert for your shots. Remember, you are going to use the infographic provided a while ago. Day 3, Learning Task 3. In times of emergency, you need to give instructions verbally. Suppose you are a volunteer and you witness a person 
someone who had an accident, what will you do and say? You're going to create a dialogue and use the appropriate expressions below. There it is. May I help you? I'll take you to the nearest clinic or hospital where you hurt badly. I'll call a doctor or a nurse. Then, explain to the injured person what or he or she should do and should not do. Therefore, assessment. Indicate whether each statement is true or false. Number one, in times of emergency, it is necessary to avoid going into panic. Number two, never assume and underestimate the extent of disaster. Three, information about the disaster is verified correct when it was broadcast on TV or radio. Four, before helping someone, make sure that you yourself is safe and capable to do so. Number five, lives and safety should be prioritized above anything else. There you have it. You have successfully gone through weekly of over three. Congratulations! Just make sure that you will complete the answers in all the learning tasks before submission. If you have comments or suggestions, you may reach out your subject teacher through this message, call, or group chat in Messenger. And please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be updated on our new videos. And please, don't skip ads! You can also like and share our videos so that 